Right, and welcome to another dull adventure. We're off to Doncaster, we've got the car back, uh, and we're going to uh, have a kid free evening at a hotel in Doncaster and about to uh, thrash the car as hard as we can, go as quick as we can, 100% charge. Uh, I think we're looking at 44 miles there, 44 miles back, so no real need for a rapid charge. Uh, but I'm going to keep an eye on the battery temperature. Uh, and all, on route, as it were, I'll talk about what happened with getting the car back, getting it fixed, and whatever else happened. Uh, but for now, let's have a look at the uh, Leaf Spy readout, see where we are on that. And uh, I'll catch you up just in a minute because I'm recording on the phone. I'm looking at Leaf Spy on uh, back momentarily. Right, we're just switching to another camera. Uh, it just makes it a little easier. I can keep an eye on Leaf Spy uh, and, uh, and also camcorder video at the same time. Uh, we don't look as pleasant on this one. I've got a fisheye lens on there, so we both look quite overweight, don't we? Do you think? Yeah, but we're not. We're, we're not, not overweight. We're super slim. Camera. We're super slim. Yeah. It's a camera, of course. <laughs> uh, just reset. Uh, it, I'll, I'll have this on the screen now. Reset leaf spy. We're at 99% state of charge. Obviously, 100% on the car. And we have reset the uh, basically how many watts we're using on this journey. So it'll be interesting to see how many we use. Uh, thrashing it. Battery temperature is at 16 degrees Celsius or centigrade, if, if you want to call it centigrade. Uh, we're going to really thrash it going. Uh, on the way back tomorrow, we'll take it real steady and just look at the difference in the, well, in, in everything, battery temperature and, uh, and the amount of energy used and consumed en route. So anyway, we're about to set off now, uh, like I say, battery temperature 15.9 degrees, uh, we've got 44 miles to go, the time now is quarter past uh, five, and I will just quickly camcorder some information on the trip computer and then off we'll fly. So 14 degrees Celsius outside, battery temperature as we've already said repeatedly uh, about 16 degrees, so a couple of degrees above ambient temperature. Uh, obviously there we've got uh, the, the car zone thermometer, temperature gauge. Get past these. Reset that. And we'll get to the... Reset that. Right, off we go. Right, we're underway proper now. Course is laid in for Hilton Garden Inn, uh, a new Hilton hotel at the uh, Doncaster Race Course. Uh, going there for an evening, away from the kids, have a little bit of a break, and to uh, thrash the car and see what, what and how the doing a high speed on the motorway is going to affect the battery. So we're about, uh, I think about an hour and ten minutes away from the hotel, but we're going to stop at a, a rapid charger just before Doncaster. See how the battery temperature increases. We're going to go as fast as we can. I think the top speed of the car is <laughs> something like 77 miles an hour in the real world. I think the display shows 83. Uh, so yeah, that's that's the plan. Uh, we'll see where we are when we get to the rapid and we'll, we'll have a look again at the, the battery temperature. Uh, but I'm just going to talk briefly, very briefly, uh, about what happened since the last video. Obviously on the last video I was not, not very happy with uh, the situation. Uh, we were waiting for a part to come from Japan. Uh, and that part was going to arrive the, the first Friday of October, I think, I think the 5th, I think. Uh, and that was arriving from Japan via Amsterdam. Uh, and what basically I get to the point and not waffling is that the, the part arrived in Hull uh, sooner than anticipated, sooner than planned, uh, which obviously was good for us. Uh, and basically we got the car back just, just shy of three weeks. Uh, off the road. Uh, in the interim, since that last video, Nissan agreed to provide a, a large diesel uh, eight-seater van, nine-seater van, uh, which worked out well for us. Uh, we was going away for the weekend. We'd had uh, previous inconvenience with a smaller vehicle and suitcases and things packed around the children. Uh, so yeah, that was much appreciated. And, and furthermore, Nissan agreed to recoup 
uh, pay for all the, the diesel costs, taxes and whatever else uh, we incurred during that three weeks off the road, uh, which again, uh, no arguments from this and they just agreed to do it. I sent receipts uh, and so on and uh, the, the payment was received yesterday, £158 and something. So yeah, that was, uh, we had a lot of inconvenience, but uh, I'm not going to moan about things unnecessarily when things are, uh, you know, have been resolved and uh, a solution put in place, then that's, you know, that's all we could ever, ever want from Nissan. Uh, it's a shame that we had to go through uh, a lot of hassle to uh, get to that final solution, uh, but uh, we, we, with pressure from the dealership and our pressure and so on, and perhaps, perhaps the use of Twitter, and YouTube, we did eventually get somewhere uh, and get things to where we wanted them to be. And we've gotten the car back on the road now, so it's kind of we're resetting the relationship with a van. Let's hope that is a one off in terms of uh, breakdowns uh, and that we can get back to uh, back to the adventure again. And uh, you know, obviously, in uh, just two and a half, getting on for three weeks worth of fuel. Uh, 158 pounds it just shows what kind of money that we are saving by having the the EMV 200 uh, I think this week I think we're up to five pounds or something in terms of electricity cost uh, so if you compare 20 pounds uh, a month potentially uh, opposed to 250 or 300 pounds worth of diesel then obviously it's a, a no no brainer as to why why and how this this vehicle will eventually start to pay for itself and uh, we just need it to be reliable that's that's the big thing and that's things do go wrong at times and uh, we've just got to hope that this this really is a, a blip a blip in the uh, the rea reliability and that we we get back to having a vehicle that's gonna last us five years and uh, do what we want it to do and, and not fail again so anyway uh, we'll be back with you, uh, well, en route perhaps, and then, then eventually when we get to uh, the Ecotricity pump, we'll check out some stats and uh, go from there. So we're flying along eventually, doing the top speed of the car. We've been stuck in a lot of traffic, so we've been on the road now for 41 minutes. Only done 20 miles, not very good. Yeah, I mean, we've only been doing now to the top speed of the car for about six minutes. Uh, battery temperature now is at 21.9 degrees, 22 degrees Celsius. Uh, so I think, I mean, the, the plan was to drive to a rapid charger. Um, we're about 20 miles from that rapid charger now. Uh, obviously less than 20 minutes potentially. I don't think that the temperature of the battery is going to get up to the too high a point whereby it's going to be detrimental to the, the, the rate of charge anyway. Right? So I think that may be a bit pointless. But we'll see when we get closer. I mean if we're up past say, 36 degrees Celsius or something, then, then I'll have a look, another think about it. But I, I think because of the external temperature being just 13 degrees at the minute, the battery not under a great deal of strain not for a long time anyway it's uh yeah it's it's not it's not <laughs> it's not detrimental whatsoever right now speeding tickets today but yeah certainly we are seeing the heat go up and uh, see where we are in another 15 minutes could go over 30 degrees celsius it's possible it's it is picking up we are really thrashing it now obviously we are like a, a flying brick 
it's uh, you can hear the the wind buffeting around the the wing mirrors. It's not exactly aerodynamic. But yeah, I might have already said this, but we don't need the the, the rapid charge. But I, I just thought if we was going to get up into the point at which that we would get a restrictive charge because of the battery temperature being above 30 whatever it is uh, but it's 35 degrees Celsius never really worked it out so we don't we don't fully know right now anyway we'll plod on and see see what happens now from the uh, rapid charger and we are at 29.1 degrees Celsius so in not a lot of time not in a lot of miles but doing the top speed of the, the van will certainly breach the 30 degree Celsius mark which we'll look at shortly and we'll see how the rapid charge then thereafter affects the, the temperature of the battery. I suspect that we will draw 38, 39 kilowatt hours uh, when we plug in, but the battery obviously will, will warm up once it gets a rapid charge going into it. Anyway, we'll catch you up at the uh, services. We've had a quick check on the app. Ecotricity pump is uh, available. Uh, so yeah, we'll be there in the blink of an eye for yourselves in about six minutes for ourselves. Turn left now. Somebody's on it. Mm, it's a leaf. Well, that one like three minutes ago when I checked, was it? You have arrived at your destination, ending the route guidance. It's not plugged in there, is it? Yes. Oh. Right, so we've arrived. Uh, it is plugged in, and it, I can't see that. I think it's like 67%, is it? Your eyes better than mine. I don't know, but whichever way the level just plugged in, won't they? Yeah. I'll go look. We're at 87%. So it's one of these where it's a bit disappointing someone's pulled up six minutes ago, plugged in, they're already at 90%. Uh, and obviously, we could do it to plug in. Unnecessary charge, really, isn't it? Just somebody wanted to plug in. I think, from what I read earlier, this is on free vent, so. Yes. Anyway, if we pan over to Leaf Spy, or Sharon will, we're on uh, 31.2 degrees. So obviously, I think we started off at 15.9. Uh, moderate thrashing, top speed for. I'm guessing at the most 25 minutes of motorway uh, and I'll just take off the camera take it across and just look across down here and uh, let's have a look so obviously the average Economy at 2.4 miles per kilowatt is pretty poor, but I expect it to be. We've had the heat on, aircon on, and doing indicated 84 miles an hour. Down to 49%. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We've used uh, 15 kilowatts of energy to get here. I'll do a screenshot of that for it to be a bit clearer. There we go. Yeah, so a bit disappointing. We can't. We've already lost 0.2 uh, degrees edge by sitting. But yeah, we're, we're a bit stuck. Mr. Leaf here getting his... Uh, obviously wanting to get his full whack out of this for free. Yeah, so it's pitch black. Well, it's not really 
but the camera is uh, not seeing too well in the the semi darkness uh yeah disappointing i wanted to get on the the rapid charger uh and and just you know to see if the if there was any restrictive charge at 30 degrees uh not able to with this leaf at the side of me uh yeah what more <laughs> What more can I say? We've uh, we got a good thrashing. We've we've taken the temperature up uh, 15 degrees plus, and uh, yeah, the experiment. What happened today? And obviously, at some point in our driving uh, to come, we will find this magic figure at which the uh, restrictive charge kicks in. Uh, but not today, unfortunately. So Mrs. C, Sharon has uh, popped in. She's going to go grab herself a bottle of. Uh, fizzy wine and then we will proceed on to uh, the hotel and uh, go enjoy the evening uh, we, we're down to 49% uh, 47 miles uh, indicated and obviously that's the, 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 on the gone uh, uh, and that perhaps wouldn't get us up tomorrow uh, but nevertheless uh, if we stuck more to a more realistic 60 miles an hour perhaps that indicated uh, 47 miles on the gone would increase and uh, we, sh we, sh we should we should get home but uh, whether we are prepared to take that risk tomorrow morning uh, I'm sure I'm sure the wife wouldn't want to uh, so we'll probably end up with a, a small rapid charge in the morning and uh, so we've got we've got some uh, safety and, and, and security that we can get back without getting stuck anyway that's it for now. Oh dear, what a what a disappointment. Anyway, on that disappointment, I think we'll call it a day uh, on this section of the video. Perhaps, who knows, maybe we'll do another video tomorrow. Uh, we've seen what, what uh, kilowatts we've used to get here. Uh, and if we go a little steadier tomorrow, uh, yeah, well, we'll see the, the contrast uh, of, of uh, very fast versus uh, moderate moderate 65 or something anyway let's call this part for now uh fade to black and uh if if there is another part we'll uh i'll see you on the other side of the fade thanks for watching up to now right it's dark mr leaf has gone uh and uh basically we, it is on free vend and obviously this is why they were trying to get us uh, as many free kilowatts as they could. Understandable, human nature, I do exactly the same. Uh, although we, we don't have the time right now. Uh, but it's just, I've just plugged it in uh, and we're looking at uh, 30.7 degrees. Literally just plugged it in now. Uh, and we were down on the cars system, down to 49%. Uh, obviously taking a couple of percentages. Oh, I've not been drinking, honest. We've taken a couple of percent there, uh, up to 51. The leaf spy is telling us it's actually 56.2, uh, which obviously we know about that. It's always a bit of uh, a bit of trickery going on with the car to let us think that we've gone from zero to 100%. Uh, and generally, generally, sort of when I've looked at it, anything from sort of 99% downwards, it's not until you get to sort of 50% that. Uh, we get a, a divergence of uh, a difference of opinion, if you like, uh, between leaf spy, natural state of charge, and and the car's indicated state of charge. But yeah, there we go. I'm going to let it get up to 70%. Get our uh, miles there up to I don't know something like 60 or something, uh, and then we've got enough to get back. Well, actually, I'm wondering whether we do have enough to get back because we've still got to get to the hotel. Uh, do you want to have a look and see what miles it is to the hotel for me? Uh, so, yeah, but regardless, we're going to leave it on uh, on this rapid for a little bit. I'm going to have a, uh, go across to the uh, the charger, have a look at the, the 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 voltage and the amps on there, and work out what the what the kilowatts are. So I'll do that now. Go across and have a look. It's 10 miles to the hotel. 10 miles to the hotel. Okay. You can always come back in the morning for a rapid vehicle. Right, it's a 370, 106. So yeah, about 38 kilos. That's a good uh a good draw on that, 39.326 kilowatts. Fantastic. So even at uh, the 30 
30 plus degrees that we arrived on it's not uh, it's not affected it right now obviously Nissan say that's uh, the first rapid charge but we did uh, sit for a while didn't we it only dropped by 0.2 degrees the first rapid charge that uh, it shouldn't be affected it's not until you get to your second rapid charge not being our personal experience we have had the first one be restricted uh, but right now it's uh, got up to 32 and uh, yeah that's good so yeah we'll tell, we'll, I think I'll let it go up to 70% and uh, there we go after there we'll uh, call it a day get to the hotel get some food have a drink of fizzy wine and uh, call it a day just to mention we're not a this is all a learning experience for us and uh, looking on lease by there at the top something that Sharon just noticed it's actually showing you the watts uh, going in it's not focusing it's probably because it's too dark and a bright a bright object in the middle but uh, well, yeah so it's showing like 39.4 kilowatts going in right now so I didn't even need to get out of the car to do the the maths because it's there in front of me but that's, that's really useful to have because the EMV 200 doesn't have unlike the, the Leaf 40 and I don't know I can't remember if the I don't think the 24 or the 30 has I don't think it shows you what you're actually taking in on a rapid but uh, but certainly the, the EMV doesn't uh, so to have Leaf Spy another another, another benefit uh, to, to having to having the, the app and the, the Bluetooth dongle Just been watching the <laughs> this new feature that we found on on, on Leaf Spy uh, <laughs> of showing us the the kilowatts going in from the rapid charger. Uh, as we hit seventy percent state of charge, it went from thirty nine kilowatts and it's just dropped down to uh, thirty four kilowatts. Roughly, it's jumping up and down a little bit. Obviously, doing lots of calculations. 30, 33.6 kilowatts uh, and battery temperature thirty four point three. So whether that would happen normal you know in in normal circumstances when the battery wasn't as warm uh, you know whether we sort of chugged along at 55 or 60 miles per hour whether at 70 percent it naturally drops to, to 33 kilowatts i don't know without further further tests and experimentation but that's where we are right now uh we're on the car system 70 percent and I think I think I might be drawing drawing this to a close pretty soon because uh, I think that's enough to get us to the hotel and back home in the morning. We could always come back here for another quick top up charge. Uh, so yeah, right. Let's call it a day. Battery at thirty four point three. Anything of any real note, uh, I will uh, put put some subtitles on on the video. Uh, but for now. I think that's it. Let me switch cameras uh, right now. So we looked really bright from the, the screen, but now it's actually recording. We just look sort of mildly scary now. Uh, so yeah, there we go. We've uh, thrashed it down the, the M62, what, M180. Uh, yeah, we did get an increase on battery temperature. Uh, uh, we've got this free rapid, uh, gone from 49% to 72%. Uh, battery temperature, 34 uh, last time I looked at it, and we have reduced the uh, the kilowatts coming in from the the eco electricity pump. Uh, but it's time for us to uh, to call it a day. It's now 6:43. We need to get a shift on, get to the hotel, go get drunk, have something to eat, have a couple of hours of relaxation before we have to head back home in the morning and face the the, the, the children and the chaos and all the usual part of our lives. That is back at home waiting for us. But for now, thanks for watching. It's been another uneventful video. Uh, if you've enjoyed watching uh, Leaf Spy, I'm sure we'll have more, more Leaf Spy data and uh, figures and all kinds of jiggery pokey. Jiggery pokey? Jiggery my pokey. Oh, I've gone mad again. Okay, anyway, thanks for watching. Very, a very dull video, but it's time to say good night, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. And uh, we'll see you again really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.